with it becoming even more likely that we may not see the conclusion of the NHL regular season. And, you know, we still hope that we get the playoffs. But at the moment, we don't know about the regular season. So myself and Jack are here today to talk about who we think should be the Hart Trophy winner at the end of this season. Uh, we'll get right into it. Jack, you can start us off. Who is your pick for the Hart Trophy? Um, he's He's my pick, and I think he should be everyone's pick. There's only really... One answer here, in my opinion, and that's Leon Dreisaitl. Uh 71 games, 110 points. Um, the man is absolutely incredible. What he does is exceptional. And you could argue, oh, yeah, you know, he's really not that good without McDavid. And that is completely, completely wrong. Um, without McDavid, he is exceptional, putting up insane totals, even without McDavid there. So there's absolute no debate that... Um, Drysaddle is only in McDavid's, I guess, reign. You think, do you think Leon Drysaddle is better than Connor McDavid? No. No? I think that if they gave the award out for the best player in the NHL, Connor McDavid would win every year. But that's not, how they, not how they give out the award. My pick for the Hart Trophy is a, certainly it's a hot take, Artemi Panarin. It has been the best player in the NHL this season, in my opinion. And I can understand the Leon Dreis that I'll take, like obviously fully respectable opinion. But Leon Dreis stats are slightly inflated by how deadly a power play is with him and McDavid on it. That's not volume. saying not, not saying that Dreis I'm not saying that Dreis isn't good without McDavid, but I'm saying his stats are inflated because of because he gets to play with McDavid. Artemi Panarin. I mean, who cares if they're inflated? He's scoring that. He's getting that many. He's scoring that many goals. He's getting that many points. He's doing that much for his team. Artemi Panarin has more value to the New York Rangers than Leon Draisaitl has to the Edmonton Oilers, in my opinion, based off of this season. Um, the highest scoring player in the NHL has gotten it 11 out of the last 16 years, so it's likely that Draisaitl is the one to get it. I think that Panarin has been exceptional, especially on even strength play. He is 10th in goals, which is two behind Dreisaitl. He is first in even strength points, which is seven ahead of Dreisaitl, who's in second. And he's first in even even strength, excuse me. He's first in even strength points or assists, which is seven above Dreisaitl. And he's also first in even strength points, which is five above Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl's also a minus six on the season. Minus seven. He's a minus seven on the season. Artemi Panarin is a plus 36. And had and his second in the NHL plus, plus minus. minus. I throw. get I get plus, plus minus. minus. I get plus minus isn't that good of a stat? How many Hart Trophy winners in NHL? It. How many Hart Trophy winners in NHL history have won the Hart Trophy with a negative plus minus? Take a guess. I have no idea. Zero, none, not one. So if the stat doesn't matter. Why have none in the history of the Hart Trophy? You know how old the Hart Trophy is? It's about to be 100 years old in three years. Not a single one of those players. Granted, plus minus, plus minus, plus minus isn't yeah. a, hasn't, wasn't a stat until uh, the 50s. Not a single Hart Trophy winner was a minus on the season. Yeah. And Artemi Panarin isn't just a, a plus in that regard. He is a plus 36, which is second in the NHL. Regardless of the plus minus, that's just like the cherry on top. He is so tremendous Every single game for the Rangers. He does so much for the team. Like, the point drop-off is insane. He doesn't have another, like, talented player just like Connor McDavid. You want to know why Mika Zibanejad is producing so well this season? He's got 75 points. It's because he gets to play with Panarin. And other than that, there's nobody really helping Artemi Panarin. And he does this almost on his own. Like, the even strength points are very enlightening. That's, that is just not, almost on his own, you can't say that. Zabanajad is doing so well this year. He's not, it's not on his own. You know, it's the Rangers. Yes, they're not a good team, but you can't say that soon he's doing it on his own. He is producing People more. would have said McDavid was doing it on his own two years ago. The, the value no, that Panarin gives to the Rangers exceeds the value Dreisaitl gives to the Edmonton Oilers. So when it comes to the most valuable player in the NHL, for me, it's Artemi Panarin. I understand the Dreisaitl take. I'm advocating on the behalf of Artemi Panarin. Okay, well, you could say then Arizona is more valuable to the Coyotes than Sorry. 
Say that again. You said Arizona. Sorry, Cooper, Darcy Kemper is more valuable. But, he, but he's to not Coyotes. more valuable to the Coyotes than Panarin is to the New York Rangers. There is no player more valuable to their team than Artemi Panarin is to the New York Rangers. You just don't see, like you rarely, rarely, rarely ever see players not in a playoff position. That that's right. You're right. That's that's the one knock against him. His team is and, not. And, his team is not in a playoff position at the moment. They're on the cusp. So I would have liked to have seen, they've been way better in the second half of the season. I would have liked to have seen them been able to excel and push on. It, it, it's it's almost, uh, you can't, it's almost, it's obviously there's some sections. I think Taylor Hall, a couple years back, I don't think the Devils were in the playoffs. No, they were. They were in the playoffs? I, it's been a long time. I think I read it was like. Were the Devils in the playoffs two years ago? I don't think so. Oh. I think Taylor no. Hall won it with the Devils. Let me, let me, let me check. Two regardless, years ago. regardless, you're right. The odds are stacked it's, against him as a result of not being a playoff team. Absolutely right. That is the that is one of the knocks against him. Devils, the Devils were a playoff team that year. Oh, they were. They were. Wow. Uh, I think the last time somebody did it was Mario Lemieux, if I'm not mistaken, which is obviously a long time ago. That's the one knock against him. But I could say the same about the plus minus stat for Leon Dreisaitl. It's a minus seven. Nobody gets the Hart Trophy as a minus. Look, look, look. Any other year. It, it might go to Panarin's hands. He's had an incredible season. But this man is on pace for 128 points. Too many times that many points has happened in this century? Not a lot. Once. Once. Was it Kucherov? Nikita Kucherov. Last on year. the best at NHL record ever. Yeah. Oh, the look. Oilers are not anywhere anywhere close to that. No. I, it, there, there's only one answer here. It's dry as idle. No, I... Look, I, again, I am I completely understand the dry sale yeah. take. Dry sale is gonna win it. I'm I'm not really is doubting. This, is, are we not, not predicting that. who's? Is this not? The I'm telling you who I think should win it. I'm not telling you the predictions. I'm telling you who I think should win it. Artemi Panarin has been the most valuable player in the NHL this season. The even strength assists, the even strength goals, the point drop off from him to other players on his team is exceptional. The amount this guy has to do in order to produce what he's producing in NHL with 95 points with a plus 36. And I get that the stat is a loose stat, but that is Because there's indicator. so many even strength goals. A lot of dry titles come from power play. And don't That's count. what I'm saying. He's yeah. inflated from the power play. The power Not play his points, is so... His plus minus doesn't... But no, but his points are inflated. He, he leads the league in power play in power play points and power play assists. And it's I think it's inflated as a result of playing with Connor McDavid. I think Drysdale is is exceptional with or without Connor McDavid. I don't think he's at this highest degree of play uh, necessarily without Connor McDavid, but he is certainly in the conversation with or without Connor McDavid. I'm making the case that in terms of the value he has, Artemi Panarin exceeds Drysdale for this season. He's on pace for 128 points. That is, you just you can't you can't ignore that stat. Oh, I, I, again, you, you again, I stat. said like this. This is this. Is that a, was me just quickly, quickly looking up the past 20 seasons manually. When's the last time somebody's been on a, on pace for that many points? How do you think I looked? At I, the, I I, I think, ended in 1999. I could have kept going. How do you think, I'm sure how do you think I look at the? How do you think I looked at the plus minus stat? I went through all the Hart Trophy winners. None of them are a minus. That's enlightening. That's something. How, how, far, how, far, none, how far back does it go? How far back does it go? Plus it, it goes into the fifties. Also, that's the plus, the a, lot, plus, a lot of a lot of data. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of data that does support uh, this. Well, plus, plus my, this, if you're on a theory, I, I, it's, it's part of it. I, I'm, it's obviously like this is just that's an afterthought when it comes to it. Like the the, the main what you're looking at is is their their play their points. Um, you could look at their value to their team. There's a lot of things that go into play. Obviously, playoffs is a big thing. I think that. Panarin exceeds that for this year. I don't think he's going to win it. I think that he should win it because of the incredible value he has to New York Rangers. Like, like there was like one game, or uh, sorry, the few games he did not feature for the New York Rangers this year. There's there's a significant drop off in performance, and it, and it's highly noticeable. Like the coach, the coach in press conferences would would talk about how important Panarin is to the team. Obviously, every great player is going to be important to their team, but. They are so poor without him in the lineup. It, it, it's so enlightening to how 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 valuable he is to that franchise. That's that's how I feel. And obviously, I know you're not going to agree. I know a lot of people are not. He's gonna not going to win it. it. There's there's zero he's chance not, he wins he's it. He's not going to win it. Absolute zero chance. He's he not going to win it. You're right. I know that. I'm saying he should win it. I, I'm. This is not a prediction. This is who I think should win 
the Hart Trophy. Oh, well, I guess I was wrong after this was predictions, but I still think either way it should be Dry as Idol. No, I, I can understand. I can understand that train of thought. Like, like absolutely. But you know, looking they're not at, in the playoffs. They're looking at playoffs. yeah, that's the biggest thing. That's the and, biggest and thing. Although Oilers Pacific Division, like it, obviously the the division they're in obviously has a lot. To Rangers would be a playoff team in the West if exactly, they're yeah. if they're if they're in there. Um, and they also, grand the record would be better if they're playing against more Pacific teams that, as well. That, uh, so, also that. Yeah. So obviously the, the the playoff thing is gonna knock him probably more than anything. Non playoff teams. Um, I don't think that I don't think you should really consider that uh, when it comes to hockey. I think in basketball, sure, one player does affect the entire team, but in hockey, like the the forwards who play the most amount play just over a third of the game. So at, at the end of the day, it's it's a lot rests on the rest of your team. Whereas the NBA, you're playing if you're the best player on the team, you're playing. 38 minutes out of the 48 so yeah sure you can much more influence and there's and in the five on five where you can really dominate the ball that's different but i think in, in nhl there should be less focus on being a playoff team that's why i think in this scenario as well uh panarin should be the hard trophy winner but i we're never going to come to an agreement there's no point of <sighs> yeah beating a dead horse here but uh, honestly though throw on uh you never see much goalies win it but tuka rask has had Two grass, absolute. Two it, grass has been incredible. You this can't year. say it's most valuable though. He's not. So, but yeah, that's 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 where my stance is. But yeah, we're like I said, we're never gonna come to an agreement here. Um, anybody listening, let me know what you think about the Artemi Panarin for Hart Trophy case. Uh, if you think it's crazy, you can let me know. If you think I'm a fucking idiot, you can let me know. Uh, I'll sleep just fine at night, even with that information. But let me know. You can do so on Twitter and Instagram or in the comments on YouTube. All of the links will be in the description. But we post every single day at the Amateur Art Sports Podcast. So keep coming back for the daily sports con- uh, content. We will see you again tomorrow for another episode.